Designers now have on the drawing boards plans for a 10 million cubic foot rigid airship. The major use of such a ship in either military or commercial service would be on long overwater hops. It will have a top speed of 90 miles an hour. At a cruising speed of 75 miles an hour, it could cover 6,000 miles non-stop with a payload capacity of 90,000 pounds. Over a 4,000 mile route, the payload would be 130,000 pounds. This represents a carrying capacity of more than 300 combat troops, or more than a dozen fighter planes, or over 200 hospital patients. As a commercial ship, it could provide 232 passengers with Pullman-like accommodations, or well over 100 passengers with all the comforts of a luxury liner, but free from seasickness or air sickness. Comfort is one of the rigid airship's greatest contributions. Accommodations would include staterooms, promenade decks, lounges, library, restaurant, and bar. The unique ability to pick up and land passengers or cargo en route, already proved by the Akron and Macon, will be an additional facility of these ships. The proposed ship will, of course, contain helium, so that a disaster such as the Hindenburgs could never happen again. Even with hydrogen, the safety record of commercial rigid airships surpasses that of any other form of transportation. Over 51,000 passengers carried more than one and a quarter million miles with not a single casualty until the Hindenburg fire. The airship's place in commerce will fill the great gap between the slow surface vessel and the fast airplane. It provides the greatest comfort at costs lower than airplane travel. The records show that the airship is feasible, safe, and economical. Airships have been of definite military value and of commercial benefit. The United States has the know-how, the industrial capacity, and a nucleus of experienced airship personnel. Above all, we are the only country with an abundance of helium, the one completely safe lifting gas. These advantages combined with the recognized lessons of the past, can readily make the United States the world leader in airships of the future.